Hello YouTube world, it's Hey Keisha. It's another week, it's another week, it's another week of Hey Keisha. It's another week of Hey Keisha. Hello guys, so we're here to do another video for you and it's in regards to a dream. And as I said, I've been getting a lot of dreams, a lot of vision from God and I just want to share one with you because it's a good one it's a good one it's a good one stay tuned okay guys so I dreamt about a week ago and normally when I dream, I just I start writing down my dream and I pray about it and ask God, you know, to give me the date, the time or whenever he wants to release it, to just lay it on my heart and then I will release it to my YouTubers. So, um, YouTubers, to my subscribers. So it's been on my heart to release this one for you guys today. I had a dream that there was two sisters that was close to my, my they were friends with my mother. Um, and this was in Jamaica. They were really good friends with my mom in Jamaica. And I dreamt that there was something going on at the church. I believe, yeah, it was at a church function or something that was going on and I was, just sitting down just sitting down in and out wait wait and i think it was like a refreshment time or something and i was just sitting down but it's like i am an adult now and i just say i was visiting jamaica i'm gonna say that I, in the dream it felt like i was visiting and both sisters i saw walking but i didn't i don't know if they remember me i remember them because they used to teach me in sunday school or vbs summer classes so i saw them coming up towards me but i have this thing where i say hi to people and they don't remember me because it's been years since i haven't seen them so they were walking up towards me and they're like oh isn't that faith one of them is like isn't that faith and then the other sister said yes and i'm like yeah and i was like excited that they remember me and one of them came up and was standing in front of me and the other one was standing behind me and there were like a fur or something a fur in my head and the other one was picking out the fur and then she said you remember um faith's first word when she when she started talking and she was like do you know faith your first word was sheep and egypt and then i was like my first word was sheep and egypt out of all the words but Anyhow, I woke up from my sleep and then I was like, sheep and Egypt. And I'm like, God, reveal what you're trying to say to me with those two words, sheep and Egypt. And then um, as I laid down there, I remember fasting. There was a fasting that I was going, I was on. I didn't know how long it was going to go for. I was just, I just wanted God to just lay it on my heart when to stop the fast, when to break my, my fasting. So those, so as scripture, the scripture that came to me during our God put on my heart um, during the time of my fasting was to read and press on, just continue reading throughout the entire fasting, like day and night, just eat that Psalms 23. And you guys can read it for yourself. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yes. So um, it was Psalms 23. And then when I got up, I was like, sheep. And then I remember that he laid that on my heart. And I figure, so that means God is my shepherd. And if he's my shepherd, then I am the sheep. And I'm like, yeah, that's actually a good thing. And then when I, I thought about Egypt, and I was like, Egypt. Because I've been going through a turmoil, like a lot of, like a spiritual warfare. Like every time a breakthrough is coming, every time like I feel like I break down a mountain, there's another one standing up behind that mountain that I brought, that, that I, um, that not me, that was taken down. But I just feel like I just keep on eating walls after walls after walls when there is supposed to be a breakthrough and I know the enemy is fighting and I know the enemy is fighting because the enemy noticed that God wants to use me and the enemy realized that I want to be used by God and he is trying to do everything to distract me. He is trying to, he is like, 
I don't know what to tell you guys, but he's working, but he's working really hard, really hard to just to mess up my faith. And I realized that, but I'm glad that God put it on my heart because every time I feel like I'm going into a place of doubt or a place of fear, I'll just pick up my Bible or my phone and started reading Psalms 23 because that's what God had laid on my heart throughout that time. And I feel like he wants me to always read it whenever things comes my way that I feel like I cannot manage to always read it. So yeah, so when it says um, sheep, I thought, yeah, you know what? Keep on pressing on that word. Egypt, I remember the story about Moses, how he was trying to lead the Israelites to the promised land. So he was trying to get the, the Israelites away from Pharaoh. And you know, like Pharaoh wants to use them, abuse them and you know taking advantage of god people and god sent moses to free those people to take them to the promised land and god it doesn't matter what god did like all kind of um stuff that he sent onto pharaoh his heart was hardened his and you know what god hardened his heart and because of that he he was like the mountain in those in in, in um the way in the in the way of the israelites so Pharaoh was the mountain. Pharaoh was the mountain that was standing in front of the, the Israelites. They weren't free. They couldn't, they weren't free. They were in bondage. And God wanted for Moses to take them out to the promised land. And I remember him as Moses, not remember, as Moses was taking them out and he parted the Red Sea and you know, like the miracles that God was working so that these Israelites can see that I am God, I am God, I am able, and I'm going to see you through. I'm going to make ways out of no ways. So as that came to me, Egypt, I was like, one thing he's saying, continue, just read your Bible, Psalms 23, Psalms 23, live on Psalms 23 when you're going through a tough time, live on that, just continue reading. It's a very short scripture psalms 23 it's well, very well known and just live on that and you know just always remember that god will make a way out of no way like i am going through a tough time and as i said every time that i feel like a breakthrough is coming every time like i feel like god is making a way there's another mountain standing and i know it's the fight of the enemy is the fight of the devil and I know it's because God's want to use me and I know it's because I promise that every time some God is using me or any time God give me a breakthrough I will be sharing it I will be it's going to be my testimony on YouTube and I know he does the devil does not want anyone to hear about God's plan and how he has delivered his children and because of that he's block, blocking everything so I've been pressing on Psalms 23 and I can tell you that fear that I used to have before has lifted up like I'm no more in fear I feel like I'm no more in bondage I feel like all my stress like every time something comes up I get a call or something comes up that really hit my soul that allowed me to put doubt in my head psalms 23 so i want to leave that with you guys to make sure that you guys are reading psalms 23 whenever you feel like you can't go on whenever you feel like there is a stumbling block in your way there's mountains in your way when you feel like you cannot break through psalms 23 and just as how he said to me egypt and i feel like that word egypt means there is a miracle on its way and God is ready and willing to make a, no, a way out of no way. So I hope this encourages you guys. Hope you have a great day, a great week and a great month. See you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe.